Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the formerly known as cocoon only bins that I'm trying to migrate to the other side. I'm trying to get them to dry out. So this is the red wiggler bin, and it was pretty muddy before, so I am going to call this a little bit of success in the drying out. But as you can tell, the worms are not all leaving me. Um, we're going where I want them to go. So let me pull back the bubble wrap here and see what we have. Still have what's left over of the corn cobs. That of course takes a good long time. It's still really wet over on this side so that is some progress that the rest of the bin isn't as wet as this. But as you can tell, that is still super muddy. Looks like they've gone through everything but the corn cobs on this side. It's the busy time of work now, so I'm not really getting in here as often as I usually do. So that's probably going to impede my migration. But I'm going to give them a whole banana today. I'm going to break it open so they can get into that right away and cover that up. Put that underneath, put the bubble wrap under. And then, you know, by comparison, this is really nice and it's certainly getting there. I'm not going to be able to sift this. But it's definitely getting there. All right, guys, get under there. All right, let me go wash my hands, and I'll move over to the European Nightcrawler bin. All right, we are back with the European Nightcrawlers, and let's let's see what we've got here. Oop, they're they're really getting to be a good size. I know that I was super worried about them to begin with, not turning into normal size European Nightcrawlers but I couldn't be happier. It, it's not like they, you know, they did take a lot longer than I was hoping for to get to this size, um, but that they are getting there. I know some people had talked about worms that are kind of stubby, oops, sassy. Not necessarily stubby, I guess he doesn't like the moniker. Uh, but at any rate, um, you do see smaller ones that are kind of not as, they're not typical, but they are still useful. I think when they're not relaxed, they're not bendy, but when they're kind of relaxed, then they do get bendy. This side's not really quite as dried out as the other. I've treated these bins almost identically, you know, within within reason, trying to, you know, see the difference between how it progresses from one bin to the next with two different breeds. You can kind of see, oh, there's a cocoon right there. You can kind of see why they call them tiger worms sometimes. When they're all stretched out, you can see their stripes. Okay, well, let's pull this back and see what we've got going on over here underneath. So, some of them are migrating, so that's good. Let's see if there's any food left over on this side. I don't know if I gave them bread, or what did I give them last time? Seems... Yeah, I think that might might have been bread. It's weird that these guys didn't go through it as fast as the red wigglers. Still got the corn cob in here. Definitely some good sized worms in here. And some little baby worms. So they're 
certainly making this a good home. And let's give them their banana. Keep them on track to stay over here underneath the bubble wrap. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased that these guys have turned into normal size worms. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but traveling on my hand here, and now on my finger, is a mite. Not a big fan. Um, yes, I realize they have a, a place in the worm bin, etc. But they don't have a place on my arm. So they need to stay in the worm bin and do their job and not try to hitchhike on me. Alright guys, well if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.